Okay, now we're going to talk about teaching kids. One of the most important things in my profession and one of the most important and fun things that I have that I do on a regular basis is work with kids. I've absolutely adored working with my children when they were younger and as they grew and watching their, them progress and get better at what they're doing. My son uh, had a, a phenomenal golf swing uh, at the age of 13 and, and basically all I did was uh, teach him the things that we're going to go over right here. Uh, the first thing we always want to make sure we've got is an attitude, a positive attitude. Lots of fun to watch my young uh, daughter Winona play and have her laugh and smile even when she hit bad golf shots. So that's a great thing to instill in children is to have fun with the game no matter what happens. Are they good shots, bad shots, uh, it doesn't really matter. Let's have a good time. Same thing with my son. Uh, it was all about what you experienced and all of the great things that come along with playing golf. So we want to have a positive attitude. Second thing is, we'd like to start with a routine. And this, I mean, a very simple routine. And the routine is simply for a kid could be from four years old on up, uh, is, and it doesn't really matter how old they are. I like to get them to start from behind every golf shot, just like your normal big routine, but at least start from behind every golf shot, walk into the golf ball, and aim the club face first, and then set up to the club face. So that's gonna be something as simple as starting just behind the golf ball, walking in, aiming the club face on their target, setting up to the club face, and then getting ready to make the shot. Just making them do that on a regular basis is a great beginning to having a consistent routine and a consistent golf swing. As far as swing goes, or excuse me, your setup, setup they typically will do pretty decent. I don't really get too technical depending how old the child is. Uh, they'll get more into the normal setup routine as you get older, but just the beginning, uh, I like to see the back hand lower than the left hand, obviously. Most kids or some kids will actually flip their hands around, but try to get their, their back hand on the low side and their left hand on the top side. Get the golf club in their fingers and get them more on the back side of the club. We don't want to be over on the left with the club in the palm, but get on the back side of the golf club so that they can use their wrist properly. So setup is something they'll typically do okay. Uh, if they get really wide or really narrow with their feet, we'll just make sure it's under their hips and shoulders. Typically, you don't really have a problem with them bending over too far or standing up too straight. They'll usually do a pretty good job, but we want to have a relatively standard uh, setup position uh, that would be discussed in our normal setup uh, chapter. But don't really get too involved in that because there's just too much for them to think about. So the main thing is to get their, their hands on the club correctly in the fingers on the back side of the club and so that their hands are in the correct position with the, with the back hand low and the front hand or the lead hand up on top. Not other, other than that, that's, that's about it. Any, any, anything more than that, and we're going to have too much for them to think about. As far as the swing goes, we like to see the wrist cock up and down. They don't go straight up and down, but to about a 45 degree angle. So if they can cock their wrist up and down, that's a big start to what they do. We want to make sure that they don't bow in or flip out. So when they get set up, we make sure they can cock up and down. And then from there, it's just a matter of saying right shoulder, left shoulder, and get them to count to three. So I get them to get to where they can cock the wrist up, turn to the right with the golf club up in front of their right shoulder. So when the club's right, their, weight, their weight's right. And then once they swing through, go back up to the left shoulder and have their back foot up on their tiptoe. So they're facing their target and in balance, and the club's up over the left shoulder. So we get our set up, make sure they can cock the wrist up and down, Go to the right shoulder, front shoulder, or left shoulder with their back foot up on the toe, and then they can count to three in balance. One, two, three. So basically this simple, right shoulder, left shoulder, back foot's up on the toe, count to three. One, two, three. It'll look like this going down the line, set up, their wrist can cock up and down on about a 45 degree angle. So right shoulder, weight's right, left shoulder, weights left, back foot's up on the toe, and count to three. So back, through, one, two, three. And really, that's the only thing that I work with in a golf swing. The most important thing is to not let them tie up the result of the golf ball to being a good swing or not a good swing. If they make an honest attempt and have a good swing in balance, whether they top it, hit it great, or whiff it, I want to re -encourage, or encourage them and reinforce that they made a good effort and a good golf swing. 
be positive when in, to, to a good effort is a very important part to seeing them progress in my opinion. So we can't overstress the simple things, but you got to be consistent with them and stay consistent with the message that you give them and keep it simple. Back, through, count to three. One, two, three. And once again, <laughs> my hand got a little twisted up there. So it's back, through, up to the balance on the tiptoe and count to three. One, two, three. Enjoy spending time with them. They grow up awful fast. Thanks for reading this chapter and I hope it helps you understand the process of just being simple with a kid in their golf swing and helping them enjoy the game. Thank you for your time and have a great day.